Hello and welcome to our new lecture of Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. This lecture is going to discuss lad and girl love and strive in love. Without further ado, let's get started. This chapter describes the growing intimacy between Paul and Miriam. It begins from Miriam's perspective and describes the way that she aspires to learning. Since she cannot have pride in her social status, she is interested in Paul, but scorns him because he only sees the swing girl side of her and not the princess she believes she is inside. Paul enjoys visiting the Levers farm because it is so different from his own home. Miriam and her mother have very strong religious and spiritual convictions, and this strikes Paul as enormously different from his own mother's logical manner. This presents the conflict between logic, represented by Mrs. Morrill, and religion, represented by the Levers. Paul feels simultaneously attracted and repelled by the fascinating and different tone of life at the Levers farm. Miriam and Paul make their connection through nature as they share the experience of looking at a bird's nest. The narrator tells us, though, that it is a long time before Paul really noticed Miriam. He first becomes friends with the boys, most of all Edgar. Then one day, Miriam shows him the swing they have in the couch, and they slowly grow closer. Paul is troubled by her intensity, which would leave no emotion on a normal plane. Miriam also seems to have some sense of this connection. The connection between Paul and Miriam may be one reason that Mrs. Morrell dislike Miriam. She could feel Paul being drawn away by the girl. She seems to view Miriam as direct competition for her son's love and attention. One evening, when Paul and Miriam are walking home, she brings him into the wood to see a particular bush because she wants to share it with him. This excursion causes him to be late coming home and his mother is unhappy with him, partly because she is not fond of Miriam. They argue about his relationship with the girl and he insists that they are not courting. Miriam and Paul get along well during their excursion to Wingfield Manor on Easter Monday. However, after this she begins to feel tormented about whether she should be ashamed of loving him, and she decides she will no longer call at his house on Thursday night. One evening she does call, and Paul picks some flowers to pin on her dress. Paul still refuses to define his and Miriam's relationship as that of lovers, and he forces his family to accept her as his friend. When Paul is 20, he has saved enough money to take his family away for a holiday for two weeks at a cottage called Mapplethorpe. The night before they leave, Miriam stays at the house so she does not have to walk in the morning. One evening, she and Paul were walking on the beach and see a beautiful view of the moon, and Paul is confused by his instinct. He feels powerful feelings toward Miriam, but does not know how to interpret them, so they return to the cottage. Mrs. Morrill admonishes him once more for being late, and the chapter ends with Paul feeling irritated at Miriam because she has made him feel unnatural. These events suggest that Paul needs some connection beyond what he shares with his mother. In his free time, Paul is a painter and he still needs his mother to do his best work, as he tells her. But Miriam allows him to take his work to another level. She makes him feel an intensity he has never before experienced. In chapter 8, strive in love. We see that Arthur enlists in the army on a whim. Whim means Nezwa. 
and then writes a letter to his mother to try to get out of it. She is very upset and goes to the surgeon, but is not able to get him out of it. He does not like the discipline of the army, but he has no choice. Paul, on the other hand, wins two first prize awards in an exhibition for students' work in the castle, which makes his mother very proud of him, and she goes to the castle to see his work on display. One day, Paul meets Miriam in town with Clara Dowers, the daughter of an old friend of Mrs. Leavers. The next time Paul sees Miriam, she asks him what he thinks of Clara. He tells her that he likes her somewhat, and she sulks. He tells her that she is always too intense. And he longs to kiss her, but cannot. When he leaves, he invites her and Edgar to tea the next day, and she is happy. However, when he gets home and tells his mother, she is not pleased, and they argue. Paul feels torn between Miriam and his mother, and resents Miriam because she makes his mother suffer. She feels hurt one day when he tells her. He will not meet her before a party at his house because, you know, it is only friendship. We see finally in this chapter the way that this close relationship finally leads Paul to abandon Miriam because he loves his mother best. She was the chief thing to him, the only supreme being. One Friday night, while Paul is doing the baking, Miriam comes to call, and when she hangs up her coat, he feels as though they live in the house together. He shows her a curtain he has made for his mother and gives her a cushion cover in the same design that he has made for her. They begin to talk about his work, and this is the time that Paul is happiest with Miriam. They are then interrupted by Beatrice, a friend of the family, who makes fun of Miriam and flirt with Paul until Miriam reminds him that he is supposed to be watching the bread. He has burned one of the loaves and then begins to feel somewhat guilty for ignoring Miriam. On some level, though, he feels that she deserves it. They got over her French notebook. They read a little bit, and he walks her home. When he returns, his mother and sister are waiting for him, and they have found the burnt loaf of bread. They are angry that he has been with Miriam, and his mother is ill. He reconciles with his mother and realizes that he loves her more. His father comes home, and they fight, stopping only after Mrs. Morel faints, and Paul takes care of her. There are a few important points that you need to pay more attention during this lecture, which are the mixed feeling of Paul towards his mother Miriam and Clara, and how he was confused about his true feeling toward Miriam and who he should love the most. The second part, which is the Platonic love, which is love for the feeling only, without any physical contact. Towards Miriam is not what Paul needs. Number three, the difference between the lifestyle of Paul and Miriam's family, where the first has an open-minded family, while Miriam's family is a religious and strict one. So these are the most important points. Let's move to the quotations. Last but not least, we have four important quotations that I already、um, talked about during the lecture. The first one is intensity, which leave no emotion on a normal plane, where Paul was talking about his feeling towards Miriam and how she acts.、Um, the second quotation is. She could feel Paul being drawn away by the girl. This quotation is said by the narrator, describing the feeling of Mrs. Morel towards、uh, Miriam and the and her relation with her son. The third one is, you know, it's only friendship, and this is said by Paul towards Miriam when he refuses to meet her before the party, claiming that they are only friends since she refuses to have any physical contact with him.
The fourth one is she was the chief thing to him, the only supreme being. And this is said by the narrator describing the relationship between Paul and his mother and what his mother represents to him. This is the end of our lecture and I hope to see you in the next one.